right? We're doing function notation, uh, not function notation, but function or not, domain and range. We're doing tables now. So if you didn't see the other two videos, I did a video up here on the coordinates. I did one on the mapping diagrams and now I'm doing tables. So let's start with this first one. We look at all of our x values. That's the only thing that matters here to us. We see a repeating x value here at negative two and a repeating one at negative two here. We have to look at those y's. They are different, so they are not going to make that a function. So no. And then when we're doing our domain and range, domain values, we start from lowest to highest. Our lowest number is a negative two. So when we're doing discrete graphs like this, which are specific points, we always write the curly brackets, as you see there. Make them as curly as you can. Negative one is the next number in my alignment here. Now, if you have a repeat like this one, you don't write the two twice. We have two and then three. So see, these are not in order. So just, as I said with the previous video, that's a terrible bracket. They don't, don't get into a habit of thinking that they're always in order. All right, and then the y values, this is our ranges. Our lowest number is three, I'm sorry, zero. So we are gonna do curly bracket, zero, another really terrible looking one, three, four, five, and seven. So you just write them like that, and that's how you do your range values. All right, next one we have is one, two, one, two. So we have two repeatings, and we're gonna look at the ones. They are repeating with two different y values on those ones. We don't even need to look at the twos. We know it's not a function. So we are just going to put no there. Our range is just going to be one and two. I'm sorry, our domain's just one and two. We're struggling today. It's the end of the day. Our range, which is our Y's, are three, four, five, and six, all nicely in order. And that's that one. And let's go to the next page. Last table, we see one, two, three, negative four, and zero. No repeating Y's, X's. So that is a function. And then domain curly brackets, starting with our lowest number is negative four. Then we have zero, one, two, and three. Followed by our y's, we have fives repeated, six is repeated, and one seven, so our numbers are five, six, and seven. Only write them once if they're repeating. And if you want more questions like these, find them on my YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, at you on algebra. All of them are located in the function notation playlist. Don't forget to like, share, follow me for more, save it for later, and I'll see you soon.